sir i want to know sir how the alternator works on ship sir because as we know that the alternator converts the mechanical energy into the electrical energy so i want to know that uh, from where this mechanical energy is uh, achieved by the alternator okay all right so i'll give you a brief idea here in these technical workshop specially created for the merchant navy decoded family all your technical doubts related to ic engines pumps as a marine engineer or as an electrical officer are sorted then and there by chief engineer orvin singh sir with a varied experience of being a chief engineer a technical superintendent a educational trainer at anglo sir madam training center he has the right knowledge and yes that is how we learn that is how we grow let's just start see the sample okay let me know if the screen is visible to you yes sir it is yes sir can you see this uh, this thing yeah uh, so we are talking about three phase alternator here which is there on uh, which is used on board ship and this is what it looks like so now in this we have got a engine part this is the engine part of it we call this is a prime mover okay this is the prime mover this is four stroke diesel engine medium speed rpm around 720 rpm and this part is called alternator three phase 440 volts output and there is a shaft inside so it's coupled basically they are coupled together so diesel engine is a prime mover which is moving uh, the rotor part of the alternator now if we see inside what is there so of course this is the actual picture from ship this is an alternator part you see cables going out coming out of this so there you will see on ship you have three such diesel engine come alternator diesel engine alternator like this one at least three will be there on board ship then you can have four five six depending upon the power requirement so some container ship or passenger ships or uh gas carriers you may have more than three alternator also now if we see what is there inside then you will see it is like this so like this now so this part here is my alternator and prime mover is obviously here a prime mover is this side and this is an alternator part now if you talk about the internal parts we have something which is called a rotor inside a rotating part this part is the rotor part so we can say this part along with this fan is the rotor and it is supported on the bearing you can see this is the bearing area so that it doesn't fall and it is rotating inside the stator so if we talk about the stator what is the stator here this is the stator this one this one so it is of course they are concentric it is only one it it has been cut out vertically to show you this is the construction now this alternator has got two generators in built into it one generator is a small generator and we call this as exciter so this is an exciter section exciter and one is a, another is a main section so this one is the main generator and the smaller one is called exciter generator or simply exciter okay now the the working principle remain the same in both of them which is faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so what we do is we provide a dc current to the exciter stator so 
एक्साइटर में दे इज अ स्टेशनरी पार्ट वी कॉल दैट स्टेटर और द आउटर शेल यू कैन से एंड वी प्रोवाइड अ डीसी करंट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट डीसी करंट इन द स्टेटर पार्ट इट बिकम्स इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट एंड इन साइड ऑफ दिस दिस एरिया वी हैव अ थ्री फेज कॉइल सो वेन कॉइल इज रोटेटिंग इन साइड द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट सो देर विल बी फ्लक्स कट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देर विल बी ई एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड इन द एक्साइटर रोटर एंड दैट ई एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड विल बी रेक्टिफाइड यूजिंग अ रेक्टिफायर असेंबली विच इज ऑल्सो रोटेटिंग विद शाफ्ट एंड दिस प्रोड्यूस अ हायर डीसी करेंट विच इज विच मेक्स द रोटर ऑफ द मेन सेक्शन टू बी इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट एंड नाउ दिस इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल्स they are rotating rotating inside the coil so this is a again a coil here the main stator section is nothing but a coil so again uh, faraday's law of electromagnetic induction says when a magnet or electromagnet is rotating inside the coil it will induced it will induce ac current or ac voltage in these coils so we get a three phase AC voltage for 40 volts output from the alternator. Some part of this is going into AVR. Another part is going for consumption in main switchboard for the ship consumption. In AVR, it is again converted to DC current. Small DC current. It is fed back to the exciter because exciter need a DC current as I told you before. So this cycle goes on. AVR maintains the voltage. because as per the voltage value of the output it, the dc current going to the exciter will be changing so that's the function of avr so in small time this is all like we can explain but there is much more to this if you attend the electrical session electrical lectures are there that on uh, online if you go through them you will find this thing in more details i have shown you how does it look like from outside and uh, a basic working sequence we have discussed okay Excuse me, sir. Hmm. Yeah. So, does does exciter and rectifier play the same role? Does exciter or exciter and rectifier? No, exciter is a generator. This okay. green section. Yes, sir. Exciter is nothing but a small generator, which produces AC power for the for the rectifier. See, rectifier work is to rectify AC into DC. why do you need dc why do you need dc so here also you need dc uh, here also you need dc from the top let me raise everything so here also you need a dc to make electromagnet to make a north and south pole in the exciter stator here also you need a dc but the the dc required dc value required here is much more higher than exciter so what is exciter doing exciter is a small generator this exciter is a small generator that is achieving higher dc output using a smaller dc input so this is dc coming from avr and this is a dc coming from coming from exciter plus rectifier so rectifier is not part of exciter but it is nearby it is it is placed on the shaft somewhere here and it is screwed it is fitted it is rotating along with the shaft so they are two different components but working together so i hope that answers your question yes sir thank you okay i hope from this technical workshop you must have got a little bit idea ki how this workshop works and why it is important for you to go through those dreamer package visionary package achiever package electrical package and never to shy away from investing on yourself because in the long run that is the only thing that pays so if you want faster promotions if you want respect on ship whether you are a marine engineer or a eto electrical officer these packages on merchantivity gold website are meant for you jai hind jai bharat jai mata